Alpt, clean your house perfectly before the first working day of your new housekeeper when she comes. Apologize for the huge mess. As a current housekeeper, if you want the deep clean on random stuff just ask. I get paid by the hour. So if you want a super clean house. Awesome. And if you want me to focus on the shower grout and don't care about the dishes that's what I will do. I won't tidy. Really. Just move your crap to a pile. I'm not an organization specialist here to fix your life. I'm just here to clean the toilet. We had a housekeeper once a week for a while, when I was younger. My mom would have us tidy our rooms in common areas the night before. I never got it. Now that I'm older, I get it. My mom didn't want the housekeeper to spend all her time moving shit around, so she could actually clean. My mom wanted her to do the stuff my mom didn't have time for, and we were too young slash irresponsible to do. Like vacuuming, dusting, cleaning windows, deep bathroom cleans etc. If you really want to pay someone to do little things like put away all your shit, that's your call. I'd much rather do that myself and pay someone to do the cleaning I don't want to do. I mean, I can't afford that right now. But someday I'll never have to dust again. I have to clean the shit off the floor before my Roomba is scheduled to run. Because otherwise it'll get stuck on a sock or cable or something. Basically a robot is tricking me into cleaning my apartment. Having a robot vacuum has been revolutionary. Our floor is always tidy and clean. The tables and couches are full of crap slash clutter, but at least it's off the floor. LPT, throw all of your table and couch crap slash clutter on the floor for Roomba. My mom does this. I'll add in since people are doubting you. My mom would do this as well. She would clean all of the blatant stuff like dust on tables, kitchen counter, etc. Yeah she doesn't want the house cleaners to think we are dirty. She is like that about everything though. We can't let them know we live like this. My wife and I have shame cleaning where a family member calls ahead 30 minutes out of the blue and we have to do a weekend's worth of cleaning to make the house look clean but lived in. I've got 4 little kids stop judging me. Pay a different housekeeper to do that first cleaning. Then tell the new housekeeper I'm sorry about the huge mess. The last housekeeper wasn't worth a damn. Make sure they know their job is on the line if they don't exceed this expectation. And I thought the original post was good. This is brilliant. The real unethical life pro tip is always in the comments. Alpt, want a tip on something like how to exploit house cleaners? Post one on Alpt and wait for a better in the comments. Alpt, come second. Edit, come. This is neither unethical nor a life pro tip. This is just a weird interaction with your new housekeeper. More useful, perfectly ethical tip, make your house sparkling clean before you have guests over slash if you ever rent out slash let a friend use your house a good guest knows to leave a friend's place cleaner than they found it good guest now a lot less common well if they're renting then go ahead and take photos you can show Ed that they left the place dirty as hell and upcharge them for cleaning boom 70 are still not even really unethical guests should know to be good guests initially sounds like a great plan Charge 10% of the cost of the room for actually being there, then 90% cleaning slash fixing charge which is deductible if they keep it tidy, although ensure there would be a lot of lawsuits this way. My mom was able to afford a cleaning lady for a couple months when we were coming up, and when I asked why we cleaned the house before the house cleaner arrived she said something like honey we aren't cleaning the house, just our shame, so she can't see it. Apostrophe, is it me, or do older people slash parents just have such weird ways of doing things, like my thinking would be, I pay the housekeeper to clean, so therefore, I'm not going to clean myself. They charge by the hour, would you rather pay to have stuff put away, which is pretty easy to do, or have all the grime in your shower removed, or some other more in-depth task? The grime between the tiles, can stay there for centuries. The dozen pizza boxes are the priority. Stop eating so much pizza. It'll make you poor and fat. Then I bet the next thing you imagine doing is forgetting to zip your pants up. 
showing your huge darn. No of course not, I just have to drop my monster condom to get that point across. Magnum dang. A housekeeper's more common than I thought, or is this thread just filled with rich people? They are not that expensive to hire. Lots of people spend maybe $100 to get their house cleaned every month, which isn't too bad if you work full time. Just depends on your priorities. I'm not sure how common it is, but I do know that in less wealthy countries than the US, housekeepers are even more common because they are so inexpensive to hire. Here to confirm. I live in a developing country and almost every middle class person has a housekeeper. Upper middle class people usually have a live-in housekeeper. Ethical pro-life tip tidy before the cleaner comes over, so he can focus on scrubbing the tub instead of picking up your socks. Also, pick up your own fucking socks, because that shit is disgusting. This is actually something I've started doing. My mom always did this, and I though she was nuts, but now that I'm an adult and I'm the one paying I get it. If in paying hourly why would I want the cleaner to do things I have no problem doing myself, it's easy to wipe down and tidy up the counters. What I don't particularly feel like doing is cleaning the stove or dusting the higher shelves. Meh, I have a cleaning business. If you are a problem client, we just drop the service. Just ask for what you need. Some people are not worth cleaning for, and some people are dream clients. Most are in between. We always leave the house spotless. It's the job. If it's a regular gig, we will see your real mess next time. This is a stupid tip. What I hate is clutter and knickknacks you are dusted. I've said it once I'll say it again cleaning up before a housekeeper comes is common sense. You pay them to clean not to organize. Good luck finding your shoes. Good luck finding your shows they always have to spend time trying to find stuff after the housekeeper leaves. Like she keeps putting the parmesan in the fridge instead of on the coffee table in front of the TV where it belongs. Boo. Boo. Rubbish. Filth. Slime. Muck. Boo. Boo. Humperdink. 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 This is more of a r slash shit of tips than anything unethical. I think it's pretty standard to pick up and put away your shit before a cleaner comes. First of all, how are they supposed to know where you put your crap? Second, they are there to clean your house, dusting, disinfecting, vacuuming, mopping etc. Get your shit out of the way so they can do their job. What's the payoff for this exactly? Do people in this sub not know what unethical even means? Fill your house cleaner. You pay them money, usually by the hour. If you leave it dirtier next time it means you pay them more to clean up after you. Wow so unethical. I will pay you more money every subsequent time you visit because I'm a messy piece of shit. How is this unethical or a life pro tip? More like stupid things people do. Because the housekeeper's reference of dirty will be the clean house and thus her clean house will be so much more cleaner. As a housekeeper I get paid by the hour. I'll clean it as well as I can in the allowed time. If you need it cleaned longer I'm happy to take more money. R slash tips. Ah. If you have cleaned the house you don't need to pay for a housekeeper anymore. Do you? LPT. Sure. All I need to do is buy a house and be able to afford housekeepers. No big deal. I used to house clean. Those kind of jobs. Ed just walk out on. They were always so picky. Simply wasn't worth it. If I could clean my house perfectly, I wouldn't need the housekeeper. Somewhat related. But I remember when my ex came around to my place for the first time. And I rent a big double bedroom with an inside. I'd made it really tidy. Spent a good hour or two doing it. Good impression and all. She came in. We sat down on the couch and talked a bit. And I asked what she thought of the place. She goes mm. Pretty typical boys room. What? This would actually work out better for you. If your house is clean and the housekeeper comes in. You have already inadvertently set expectation that you are uber clean. And you expect the housekeeper to meet that standard. In fact, in her mind, 
Anything less than perfect would mean she's not meeting your expectations next time when there actually is a mess, or whatever. Congrats. You lengthened ops post. T.S. Dr. Too Short didn't read. T.S. Do Too Short didn't understand but thanks to the comment above. Now I do. Even better. Hire another service than do this. Who the hell can afford a housekeeper? Who the fuck can afford a housekeeper? Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.